What we're here tonight to, to explore is this thing called a critical skills classroom. Uh, and what, what it looks like, why people are doing it, how it meets the needs uh, of students today. AIAC has been running this critical skills program here for a long time. Uh, and over that time, we have been actively engaged with the evolution of a classroom teaching model um, that is the direct result of teacher classroom action research. A critical skills classroom is a, an integration it's an integration of all the things that we know work in the classroom. Um, when you think about, one of you mentioned experiential learning. Okay, experiential learning is at the heart of a critical skills classroom. Learning from experience. What kind of experiences? The second piece of it is problem-based learning. It, it specifically, turning our curriculum into problems to solve. Meaningful problems interesting problems, place-based problems. How are they doing these problems? They're working together in learning teams. Collaborative learning is the third element. And the fourth element is it's standards-driven. It's outcome-driven. We have very specific things to learn at the end point or in the process of doing these challenges or problems to solve. So Problem-based learning, experiential learning, collaborative learning, outcome-driven learning. It's a classroom that you will see is one in which focuses on the learning of three important things. One is essential knowledge. What is it in the class that we're teaching in terms of curriculum, whether it be science curriculum, math curriculum, English, writing, reading, Spanish, whatever it is, we're clear about what we want students to learn. At the same time, we also are, are extremely interested in the development of certain key skill areas, critical skills, problem solving skills, organizational skills, communication, creative thinking, critical thinking. Those things that whenever you ask anybody what it is that's most important for people to have in terms of skill sets to thrive in the extraordinary world we live in today, the same set of skills comes up over and over and over again. Critical skills. Fundamental dispositions being the third thing. Ownership in learning. Self-direction. Constantly attending to quality work. Ownership. Curiosity. We want our students to be curious? Do we want human beings to be curious? Well, why don't we target that as a specific disposition? So essential knowledge, critical skills, fundamental dispositions, simultaneously. 